Hello and welcome, I'm Vincent McCorry and this is Africa 54. A militant Islamist group is warning tourists to leave Egypt, threatening to attack any who remain in the North African nation after February 20th. The green message is raising the prospect of a new front in a fast-growing insurgency. Now, the Sinai-based Ansar Beit al-Makdis group, which claimed responsibility for a suicide bombing that killed two South Korean tourists and an Egyptian on Sunday, made the statement on an affiliated Twitter account. The group, which is Egypt's most active Islamist militant organization, has threatened to topple the interim government installed by Army Chief General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, while well, security forces seem to have contained the Muslim Brotherhood, analysts say Ansar Beit al makdis is becoming more brazen. Now, Ansar Beit al makdis has raised security concerns in Egypt since the fall of President Mohamed Morsi last year. And some believe that the government's linking of Morsi's Muslim Brotherhood to the Sinai-based militants is encouraging terrorists rather than containing them. VOA's Elizabeth Arut has more from Cairo. Egypt's government has declared a war on terror, and by any definition, terrorists are here. Ansar Beit al Maqdis, or supporters of Jerusalem, is one of several jihadi groups based in Egypt's largely lawless Sinai Peninsula. Claiming inspiration from Al Qaeda, they've launched missiles into Israel, but their most frequent targets are domestic. From a failed attack on the shipping lanes of the Suez Canal, to a military helicopter downed in Sinai. Their use of sophisticated weapons has many alarmed. So too has their encroachment into Egypt's heartland. A deadly bombing at a police station in Mansoura in December, a series of bombings in the capital last month. All of which has led Ansar Beit al Maqdis to be called the most frustrated terrorist group in the world. Time after time, it claims responsibility for attacks only to have Egypt's government blame the Muslim Brotherhood. The government branded the Brotherhood a terrorist group after the Mansoura bombing, though presented little evidence of its involvement in the ABM-claimed attack. Some point to the actions of deposed President Mohamed Morsi, who came from the Brotherhood during his year in power. Security analyst Sameh Saif al Yazil says Morsi's amnesty of jailed terrorists and allowing others to enter the country during his presidency as well as the rise of ABM attacks after, are damning. They allowed them to come and to stay in Sinai. Why? Because they convinced him that they would be the second line of defense if anything happens to him or the Muslim Brotherhood. But any ties remain murky, and the arrest of protesting students, journalists, and others on terror-related charges only appears to muddy the waters further. Political activist Wal Khalil says the government's current path leaves terrorists at large while possibly creating more. If your only answer is uh, shooting at, at demonstrations and arresting people indiscriminately, then actually you are recruiting for terrorism, whether you like it or not. And with more foreign fighters reportedly coming to Sinai daily, Egypt's government, like Syria before it, may find it needs as many people on its side as possible. Elizabeth Arrett, VOA News, Cairo. Well, not too far from 